Now what I'm seeing on the R6 Mark II is that you have three custom dials and photography and video switches. So my hope is, and because I don't have my hands on the camera, is that this fixes the fatal flaw that you cannot just set your settings and video modes and then just turn that dial to go from say 4K24 and then switch the dial to 4K60 and have your shutter speeds changed already. In watching the DP review of the R6 Mark II, they already struggled with the fact that when you're switching between video modes, the settings don't stay the same. So that kind of tells me that either they didn't have enough time with the camera or having the ability to change those custom modes to have your settings set for what you're using regularly, for example, 4K24 and 4K60, and then not forgetting to change your shutter speed to be the appropriate double of your frame rate. I've done it a ton, and so for me, this is the fatal flaw and a perk of any camera that you can set the custom dials on.